Hey guys, it's Blender Helix Alpha here. Um, so we've made our new document. Today I'm going to show you um, just some real basics about the interface. Um, so I'm just going to dive into it since uh, the YouTube's video limit is only 10 minutes, which I probably won't end up taking that much. But okay, I'm going to dive into it here. Okay, so you have your default cube, your um, your camera, and your lamp. Your lamp is your um, your basic light source. Um, to create another one, you just press spacebar, add lamp, and there's all these different kinds. There's there's the lamp, which is obviously just a spot of light that gives off a, a color of light. Sun is basically the exact same thing as the lamp, only just enormous, um, enormous velocity in the light. But the uh, there's a spot, which is exactly like a spotlight, a circular. Um, light. There's the hemisphere, um, which I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can, as you can see here, um, it's just how wherever that's pointing. Um, there is also the area. Um, the area is basically the exact same thing as a lamp, only it's a shaped. Um, it's a shaped lamp. All right, so we have our default stuff. This is object mode where you can just select things and move them around and whatnot. Um, you can go into edit mode by s selecting your um, cube or anything else that you have and going into edit mode. You can also go into edit mode by pressing tab. Now I'm going to go over the W key. Um, the W key homes um, subdivide, which cuts everything in half, giving you more faces to work with, um, lessening the work that you want to do. Um, and that's a basic description of subdivide. Um, and there's other stuff in the W key. Just experiment around and you'll find out for yourself. Um, H is hide, which I will not do that. Okay, A is uh, either select all or none. S is to size up or size down. You can press S3, S, S4, and whatnot. Um, Shift D is to duplicate. Um, G is to grab. GX is to grab on the X axis. GY is to grab on the Y axis. G, uh, Z is to grab on this axis. Press 7. Um, to go into my top, press 1 to go into side, and press 3 to go into front views. Um, this is, and you can press 0 to go into your camera. I'm going to press 0 now. I'm in my camera. You can press F12 to render. I'm going to do that right now because it takes a while, But um, and my computer sucks. But um, So this is what you get default. If you want to split up your area for some reason that you're doing something that requires this on your project, you can either go here or here. Um, whenever you go over here, you're going to get your arrows that says it's split area. And you can split this area and then just determine whatever you want by clicking that and going to your window. So that's that. And what I just did there is I right clicked joined area and did that. And I just messed me myself up. Okay. Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay. So we're back to normal. Okay. There's two main realms in the Blender world. Um, there's the game engine, where you can press P and go straight into the game engine. Obviously, we haven't done anything uh, program-wise, so we can't do anything like that. Um, and you can press F12 again to render a still frame, or you can go down to render and render your animation here. But we don't have an animation yet, so, and we're not going to make one today, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to select our cube, and these are all the tabs I'm going to go through. This is the logistics tab. You have sensors, controllers, and actuators. Sensors, you can input whatever you want. Right now, I'm going to go into keyboard and W. Um, controllers, you just put your sensor in that, and then it spits it out into your actuator. So what I have so far is a W key that's telling this actuator to do something. What do I want it to do? I want it to move on the Y axis. I want it to locate itself positively on the Y axis. 
um, it, by default it's motion so it goes X Y and Z so I'm gonna move it positive 10 on the X on the Y right here I'm gonna go into my game uh, engine by going to the P press W makes it go forward perfect and as you can probably imagine you can mess it around and do all kinds of different um, all kinds of different uh, programs and whatnot. And uh, let's see what else is there. There's the shading tab, and your cube comes with a default material. Um, it comes out light gray by default. Um, and I'm just going to move it just to show you. I'm going to move it to a darker red, or a brighter red, or completely white or completely black and if you wanted it um, if you wanted it where it's just a solid alpha color you can do shadeless and that way it'll render out just a complete one solid color um, let's see what else is there I can tell you uh, you can go to the while you're in the shading tab you can go to this world tab and it changes your complete background color your actual world that's in here, this universe of Blender, completely black. Um, by default, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the bluish region, but um, we're just going to keep it how it is right there. Um, this is that. We don't use that or this very much, but um, you can go in here to the materials, editing, sorry. And we're going to check out this thing called a modifier, and we're going to go to subsurf. Subsurf, what it does is it collapses your figure in, in on itself. Um, sometimes that can be incredibly good for your modeling. Um, as such, by collapsing in your faces, and um, the more faces you have, the more smooth it's going to look, obviously. And to make more faces, you can go in the edit mode and then type... Or, um, press W and then subdivide so you can make more phases and it takes form into that so the more I have it's gonna slow down my computer but um, it looks a little bit smoother as you can probably tell um, so if we actually wanted to be literally smooth we could press set smooth and it turns it into this um, all the faces are shaded um, much more than it would be if you set solid and that's all right here. And you can subsurf on different levels and collapse collapse that box into itself until it's a until it's a uh, a sphere. And that's my subsurfed um, cube <clears throat> x. Um, so that's that. This is the y-axis. Just in case you didn't know. This is the x-axis, and this is the z-axis. I think that's all we're going to cover for today. Um, this is, I think, going to be part one of just the basics of Blender. Um, I'm going to make a few more later on um, as some more views get, get on this video and stuff. See how people are finding this useful. Um, actually, I'm going to quick uh, go into this um, on the or numpad your views. Seven is top, one is side, uh, yeah, and three is frontal views, um, and, do and zero is your camera. You can select your camera and just move it around while you're in camera mode, but um, yeah, guys, that's all I have for today. You just um, check out this video. Um, if there's another one, check that one out too. The link will be in the upper right hand corner. If not, then uh, just check out my other videos and you're bound to learn something. Alright, see you guys.